All right. Making another vid uh, as a follow-up uh, to my last one. Um, just starting the video there. Like my buddy Magnetisitist. <laughs> All right. I love that. Anyways, um, my last video I didn't really get to elaborate on um, why my coil was acting the way it was. Uh, someone in the comment box um, uh, guessed it exactly. Um, what I did was exactly what Ed uh, prescribed in his uh, book, Magnetic Current. Now he said to um, make your spool out of aluminum. Well, here's the coil. And this, this is a piece of aluminum pipe with um, coat hanger wires in the middle as a core. Uh, that's just a nail to uh, tighten it up. But um, anyways, I encased my core inside that aluminum pipe just to try it, you know what I mean? Because I read med magnetic current again and um, you know, thought, well, I haven't really seen anyone make a spool out of aluminum to see what would happen. Now, I mean, we all know and I've learned in the past um, in my uh, learnings of what I'm doing here. I'm a biologist, by the way. I teach biology, human biology at the college. But um, this is really a passion of mine. But anyways, in the past I've learned that um, uh, passing a magnet uh, by this pipe is going to cause um, some current to flow in the pipe, and which will cause a, a magnetic field lens, um, just as if this was a really heavy winding of wire. Um, so anyways, my wheel was slowed to begin with, just a tiny bit. I'm not going to get into numbers. This is an idea that I'm letting you know about. Um, it was Ed Leedskalman's idea. Anyways, um, this slowed the wheel initially a bit with no closed circuit on the coil uh, because of the eddy currents, right? <coughs> but anyways, uh, when you use the electricity from the coil, it takes it from that, and the wheel speeds up, and the amp draw on the uh, prime mover, or the drill in this case, um, goes down. So I see that as a good effect. Now, um, I really haven't had the time to monkey with it like I want to, but I'm going to be trying to tune the coil, the core, to try and get the full out of it because um, I mean I recognize that okay even though that this slows the wheel a bit to begin with if you have to use electricity get to get back to an unfettered uh, normal state that's a good thing right because you basically have free energy um, that's why I worded the title of my last video the way I did because I see this as a form of free energy you're using that electricity right to get back to a normal state. But anyways, I'm going to be working on it. I've tried other cores. Uh, this is uh, like an aluminum tent pole, um, but um, the core is a little bit bigger. Now I wound uh, this wire onto this spool and used this core. And uh, this thinner uh, tent pole aluminum slowed the wheel initially uh, much more than this thicker this is like an old aluminum pipe of some sort that I found behind my garage but um, this slows the wheel much less or not much less but less about half as much as this thinner bigger diameter aluminum just to let you know that but anyways I'm going to be playing with this I'm not going to promise a video because <laughs> um, took me long enough takes me long enough to get um, time and <coughs> um, focus to uh, to do it and I don't want to keep everyone waiting but anyways this is what I was playing with in that video and um, again please comment I know there will probably be comments saying oh well you slowed it over you know that's what happened and that explains it and it's nothing mysterious you know well it isn't really anything mysterious but if you slow the wheel initially and then have to use electricity to get it back to a normal state as if the circuit was open um, 
that's good, you know, I see that as good. And I hope people experiment with it. I know Magneticist is um, in a uh, uh, solid state way. But, um, and there are videos out there showing uh, this sort of thing. Now I have other ideas as well um, and other things I want to play with. You know, also Ed says to um, encase the spool in iron as well, right? So you have a core in the middle and then you have the uh, steel on the outside. So you have magnetism, the magnets flowing on the outside as well. He said that's the best way to do it. And actually he said that the best way is to have a core, have a core on the outside being this pipe, and then also to attach the two. But I don't see a quick way to do that, so I'm going to try this first. I have other ideas as well uh, involving caduceus windings and making them into antennas um, related to uh, Tesla's uh, uh, radiant energy um, capturing device idea patent. <laughs> Anyways, this was the idea. I hope I got all my ideas across, probably not, but anyways, um, I hope that answers questions, and I hope that uh, other people go with it as well. Anyways, let me know what you think. I'll uh, talk to you later.